Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can transfer your Google Drive and Gmail items from your Revisty220.org account to a personal account in Gmail. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now, if you don't have a personal Gmail account, you're going to want to create one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And because I'm signed in to my Google Chrome right now, I'm going to go to and open up a new incognito window. And I'm just going to type gmail.com. When the page loads, instead of signing in with my Revis account, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Create Account. And then you're going to want to go ahead and fill out all of this information here and follow the steps in creating your new Gmail account. Now, I already have a personal Gmail account that I'm going to use for this demo. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new tab and close out of the first one. And once you have your personal Gmail account set up, you're going to want to go ahead and sign in to your Revis D220.org account. So the best way to do that is go to mail.google.com and sign in with your account. Now once you're signed in with your account, you will see your account information in the top right corner. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open a new tab in my browser. And I'm going to myaccount.google.com. And this is where we're going to back up our information from our RevisD220.org account. So underneath personal info and privacy, I'm going to go ahead and choose control your content. And then on this page, I'm going to select transfer my content. Now you do have the option to download your data. It's basically an archive of all your files in Google Drive. But if you want quick access to any documents that you've created over the years, or want access to things like Gmail, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and transfer your content to your personal account, which is what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start transfer. I'm going to enter the destination account. So that's the personal Gmail account that I've set up. So I'll go ahead and put that in right now. And then I'm gonna choose send code. So what it's done is it's sent a confirmation code to my personal Gmail account. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open another incognito window go to mail.google.com and sign in with my personal account. And when the page loads, you'll see that I do have an email from Google to verify my account. So I'll go ahead and click inside of there. And then I'm gonna get the confirmation code that I need. So I'll go ahead and click this button. And then all I have to do is take this confirmation code and paste it into my transfer on my student account. I'll verify the code. And then it gives me the option to select the content that I want to transfer. So if I want to transfer all of my drive items, I can go ahead and toggle that switch on or off, as well as Gmail. But I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave both of these selected. And you can see that a copy and transfer will be made to my personal Gmail account. So I'll go ahead and start transfer. And you're all set. It lets me know that everything was taken care of. And now I can view the history of how many times I've transferred items to this personal account, or I can just go back to my account. But I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna open an incognito window and go back to mail.google.com. And now I'm gonna log in with my personal account. So Google has sent me an email letting me know that the transfer is on its way from my student account to my personal account. And it also lets me know that it could take up to a week for the transfer to complete. So depending on how much information you have stored in Drive or how many emails you have in Gmail, it could take as long as a week to back this file up. But it's important to understand with a personal Gmail account that you're limited to 15 gigs of storage. So if you have more than 15 gigs of data on your RevisD220.org account, you're going to want to try to go through and get rid of some of the items that you don't think you need. But you can see here, my new backup, RibCheck student, and it gives me the date and the time that this backup was started. So if I click inside this folder, it'll show me all of the folders that I have, and you'll see that I am now the owner of those documents. If you guys have any questions about setting up the transfer, please feel free to email me at the address listed below.